Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add employees in a payroll book here in Zoho. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Zoho, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding employee in Zoho Payroll Book is a straightforward process that would help you automate salary calculations, including basic pay, allowances, bonuses, and deductions, including taxes, insurance, and a lot more, ensuring accuracy and reducing manual errors. Make sure that you are on the right Zoho product because right now I am on the Zoho Mail. Just click on the uh, home button and then on the home page, click on the books because that would lead you to the zoho payroll book but of course you need to put in the information here for example your organization if you haven't set up your payroll already you might want to do so right now in my case i'm going to be putting in the plans and the organization is located here around Now click on let's get started and of course you need to provide all the information here okay and once you're done that just follow the on-screen instructions and get started you would now be forwarded here we're in this is going to be the payroll now once you have set up your books I want you to navigate to the left side panel of your dashboard and look for payroll. Right now, if you don't see any payroll option here, you need to set that up. Okay, you don't have to worry because it's a little bit easy. Now, you want to make sure if you want it, you can type uh, in payroll or go to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon. And here is the payroll. All right. All you're going to do is click that and you would be forwarded to a new page wherein you just have to provide all the information related to your account. Okay, and this is going to be the Zoho payroll. This is very important for us to be able to add an employee if you have it already. I'm going to type in the organization name. Business location, industry. You could be, um, let's go for entertainment legal structure i'm gonna fill this out for you guys don't worry partnership now once you have successfully created your payroll okay the next thing that you need to do is very easy all you're gonna do is click on this option add employees all right you can, there's gonna be an option that says complete now then you can get your employees on board capture all the necessary details about your employees right from their ssn's or social security numbers to bank details i want you to add an employee but if you have multiple employees under your organization you might want to click on the import employees we're gonna do that later but for now let's add one employee um i'm put, gonna put in deep laughs first day of work i don't know you can put in anything in between employee id is like um deal nine work email is going to be like deep laughs at zohomail.com want to put in the number if you want it and the destination remember that you cannot change this email address later on as this will be used to send pay stubs and also for employees to sign into their portal okay so you want to make sure you read and understand this information here for designation um you can add in a designation for example going to be content creator it, it indicates mandatory field click that and work location is that and the compensation details which is of course i um leave that to your discretion it, it depends really on your organization but uh for now that's gonna be a paid by the hour let's say um 69 per hour 
all they have to do is you see save and continue and you would be forwarded here all right so uh let's put in another um i don't know gmail.com okay so it's now this is very important because at this stage i cannot give any social security number because that's very confidential for example for the sake of this video i'm gonna put in some random numbers date of birth let's say um around um, employable uh, year maybe 2099 i don't know okay so that personal email address is gonna be um it's all up to you but thing is we're going to put in residential address now after that you see you need to put in the federal tax setup all right is it going to be 2019 or earlier or 2020 or later you can also put in if the employee is exempted from federal ta income tax other uh, exemptions you can put in as much as information as you can okay now for the california state tax setup all right you need to fill in as much as details as you can if you want you can skip that for now all right and you're gonna be uh put in on how would you like to pay this specific employee you can save and continue you can skip but we're going to check the direct deposit is not con not configured in the organization level by check you have to pay your employees on the payday manually and then record the payment which is going to be tedious right and of course they will notify you when you need to make the payment but for now let's skip that and we have successfully added someone here on our payroll book all right if you want to add another employee you are welcome to do so by clicking on this blue button but if you want to look on the employee information to see if we have added the uh correct information here you're welcome to do so all right it's a very straightforward process really but you have to put in the information here very carefully because it would reflect their tax uh, tax status and again if you wanted to add another employee all they're gonna do is click on this blue button here at the top and you are welcome to do so all right because this button simplifies the whole payroll processes enhances compliance and provides streamlined management of employee compensation thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video